Hello and welcome to Funny Hacks, the show where I show you hacks that are weird, unusual and occasional use for one as well. Today, I'm going to power this laptop off AA batteries. <laughs> Here is half an hour of footage of the laptop running on the batteries with the voltage meter before the camera ran out of batteries. Fail! Anyway, it's going to sit up here in this corner, so just feel free to watch it whenever you feel, and I'll get on with the show now. Running a laptop off double A's is another one of these really simple but dangerous hacks. It's dangerous because, well, I'll tell you why for the batteries soon, that's a funny story. But for the laptop, I'm, there's a high chance of losing it, and it can be quite an expensive thing. I'm using a really, really old one here. I bought this back in about 2004 or so, so... It's not quite so up-to-date anymore, and so therefore not quite such a problem. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this has done, done the job well. So I was camping with some fellow geeks, and I had the laptop with me, along with a whole heap of double A's. So I was powering the battery off double A's, and then we decided to go and get some food. So I put the laptop down, switched it off, unplugged the battery pack, but left all the batteries in it. I left it in the shade, and we went off and got the food. When we came back, the sun had moved, and so the batteries were no longer in the shade, or should I say half of the batteries were no longer in the shade. The other half was still in the shade, which meant that half were really heated, and the other half was still really cold. Still, I thought, eh, no worries, they're just double A's. So I plugged it back into the laptop, and I continued using it. After a while, I noticed a smell. It smelled of solder, and it smelled of burning plastic. So I thought, well, that doesn't smell so good. And so I said, hey, is anyone using a soldering iron? No. No. Is anyone using a soldering iron? No. No. Oh, it's me! <laughs> and at that point, I noticed all the smoke coming off the uh, battery pack. And so I just grabbed it, unplugged it from the laptop, and just threw it out of the tent as it was starting to look as though it was going to go into flames. Uh, batteries came flying out and um, it was all fine. Uh, the thing cooled down and I just uh, ended up doing a bit of a repair job on it and it all went again. Now the moral of the story is that to power the laptop we do actually need two sets of batteries in parallel to get enough current. Trouble is, is that there's a risk of getting the batteries unbalanced like I did there. So one of the things I did with this one is I put a couple of diodes in there to protect the circuit so that just won't happen. Okay, so here is the laptop, and it's not connected to any power. I have the battery pack, and I'm going to move that out. And here is the cable going to the double A's. So there we go. Just close that, get that out of the way. And the moment of truth. So here we have a laptop running on double A's. You can see, see there's where the battery would normally be. There's our power, which is dangling from the top. Ooh, that's not a good error. And here is a kernel panic. What panic? We haven't got many lines of the error there to actually work out what's gone wrong, but it looks like it's either the hard disk or the CPU. But uh, the CPU doesn't make sense. The hard disk would make sense because I was spinning the thing around and being nasty in all sorts of ways. So I'm going to take this back off. I'm going to wrap this up now, so until we meet again, I'm Kevin Sandom, this is Funny Hacks. Any of the last section. This displeases me.